Ryan. Oh, hello there. Thanks for stopping by. I didn't even see you come in. Oh, yes, I snuck through the back. Anyway, so we're here to ask you a few questions about your fiance, Annie. Ah, uh, yes. Are you ready? Uh, of course I'm ready. Just answer honestly. Okay. Okay. So question number one. What is the first thing that Annie ever said to you? Sup, let's go. Okay. Uh, would you like some context? or are those... Sure, give us some context. So there we were. Um, a very romantic evening at uh, a local bowling alley in Santa Barbara, California. And um, we were in separate lanes but bowling at the same time. And uh, she looked over at me with a very menacing look in her eye and, and challenged me to a bowl off and said, Sup, let's go. Yeah. And did you guys go? Oh, we went. And who won? <laughs> Annie did. Oh. She's a natural bowler. Yes, she um, is. That's it's just sweet. a skill set that I don't really possess. Oh, that's yeah. a very sweet comment. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two. What is your fav favorite physical feature of Annie's? When I look into her eyes, it's like staring into her soul. Um, she has the most breathtaking eyes, and um, very I'm, I'm very, I really like how they look. Very nice. That's my favorite physical feature of hers. That's very mm -hmm. sweet. Okay, number three. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good question. Um, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure. I mean, I like to think of myself as someone who's fearless. Um, I might fear... Um... I'm not, let's see, that's, I, I haven't thought about that. Um, I think I fear... What would Annie think that your biggest Oh, what would she is? think my biggest fear she's is? she's going to be answering oh, these questions um, as if. Well, it's not sharks. She might think that, but that's not it. I'd say my, she would think my biggest fear is, um, showing my emotions. Okay. Uh, it's not, because I'm fine with showing emotions. <laughs> but that's the, but that's but, your answer. Yeah, that's, okay. that's going to be my answer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if she says that, it would be right for the question, but also wrong for my fears, though. So, okay, but, mm. so you don't have an answer for your actual fear. I don't know what I'm afraid of. Okay, that's good. Okay. Okay. Um, and what is, what do you think Annie's biggest fear is? Annie's biggest fear is spiders. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. Um, and then going back. Well, well, hold on. Okay. Can I uh, yes. spiders and being alone forever? Okay, that that's, that, that would are, be a big fear. Yeah, those are hers. Okay, um, what is your what is Annie's favorite physical feature of you? I'd have to say my muscles. Yeah. Um, I can see she that. would probably say that her favorite physical feature is um, probably my eyes. Yeah. Because they're the window to my soul. Yeah, that's but, nice. Yeah. So yeah, that's the answer okay. that she yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who says, I love you more? I think I do. Okay. Yeah, I say it more. And number five. Actually, I don't know what number on. Next question. Okay, next question. Um, I couldn't, I can't read the word, so I'm moving to the next one. Okay. Who is funnier? You or Annie? Well, we do have very different senses of humor. Um, I'm definitely funnier than her. So what is your sense of humor in comparison to hers? I, um, think, and this isn't to cut her down, but, um, I do make smarter, um, uh, more sophisticated jokes, and her jokes have more to do with jokes that I might make in, like, the third or fourth grade, mm -hmm. like, butts, and things like that. Gotcha. Um, that's more, <laughs> that's more Annie's vein of joking there. Whereas mine are sarcastic and quite often genius. Yeah, I can see uh, that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, I. Who do you think is going to be the disciplinary, disciplinarian in your family? The disciplinarian. I think that will be me because Annie doesn't have a bone in her body that would let her be too hard. Um, she's very soft and delicate, and that, I mean she'll be firm, but not quite disciplinary. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So the kids will fear you. Yeah. <laughs> just so when kids do videos like this, they'll say, what do you fear? And their first fear will be dad. But, Perfect. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. What is Annie's pet peeve? Her pet peeve? Number one. 
re- uh, having to repeat things. Okay. So if we're like talking on the phone and she has to repeat something because I don't hear it, it, it drives her bonkers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I actually can see that. Okay. Um, what is your biggest pet peeve? My pet peeve? Mm-hmm. Improper grammar. Really? Yeah. I can't, can't stand it. Like, I mean, if, if, if someone should understand grammar and they don't, or like if they're like sending a text and they like use abbreviations and not proper things, it's like, it's not that hard to just make it be coherent. Okay. Grammar snob. Yeah, that's me. Gotcha. Uh Okay. What is Annie's favorite treat? Ice cream. And what's your favorite treat? Mashed potatoes and meat. I'm not, I don't like sweets very much, um, but her favorite treats are ice cream and chocolate. Does she have a favorite of the ice cream or in general? Um, well, if she's going to go get ice cream, it's going to be birthday cake remix from Cold Stones. Gotcha. And if it's going to be chocolate, she'll either get a milk Bordeaux or a butterscotch square from Seas Candy. That's very specific and romantic. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, if Annie were an animal, what kind of animal would she be? Consider personality. Personality going into this. She would be something like cuddly and cute. Um, maybe a panda bear. Okay. Panda bear. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. Uh, and then what would you be? I would be either a sloth or a hippopotamus. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. I thought you... Oh, so what... Why would you say Annie would be a... Oh, because she's cuddly. And then why would you say you would be a sloth or a hippopotamus? Um, well, I like animals of the hippopotamian variety because um, of their amphibiability. Um, okay. I, I love the water personally, but I'm also... I can hold my own on land, so can hippopotami. Um, sloths are just easygoing. They're mellow. They don't really put up with too much, so... I could see myself. If there was some sort of hippopotamus sloth hybrid, I would be that. Okay, that mm-hmm. makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, what about cars? Oh. If you were a car, what car would you be? I would be, like, what do you mean? Like, how specific do you want me to get? Like, a body style? I'd be a station wagon. Okay, what about personality? No, yeah. That's a station a, wagon. Yeah, okay. a station wagon. Gotcha. Uh-huh. And what do you think Annie would be? She's like a coupe. Maybe a uh, convertible. Yeah. A, convertible. a hard top convertible. Car- convertible coupe? Yeah. Okay. With the hard top. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. And why? Well, um, she would be that because she's sporty. Um, she's fashionable. Um, she likes to, you know, let her proverbial hair down. Um and you can put the top down in the convertible. So she likes to kind of let loose sometimes. And you can do that in a car like that. And um, what she looks for in a car is being zippy. Um, and she, that's, that would it fill, it fills all requirements is what it does. That's perfect. Okay. Mm-hmm. How many kids does Annie want? She want? It has to be an even number because we don't want anyone to be left out. Um, so she wants either six or eight. Okay. And she's fine with either. And how many do you want? Um, six is a good number. Okay. Yeah. All right, next question. Who is your celebrity crush? A man or woman? Either. My celebrity crush. Bob Weir. Who is that? He's the guitarist for the Grateful Dead. Okay. He's a very, very handsome individual. That's sweet. Okay. And he looks great and cut off short. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, who is Annie's celebrity crush? Man would be Ryan Gosling. And woman? Woman is Rachel McAdams. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, what is Annie's favorite food? Favorite food? Bread. Yes. Bread, without that a doubt. That is true. No. Nope. Um, yeah, there's no arguing with yeah. that. And what is your favorite food? Either steak and mashed potatoes or burritos. Okay. Mm-hmm. And last, well, how many shots would it take for Annie to make a th- free throw she, she she's really good at basketball so in her prime i'd say one right now maybe two okay. but no more than that okay and how many shots would it take for you to make a free throw no less than five okay mm-hmm. gotcha. no less okay and is there anything you would like to say to annie or any of her guests 
guests, Annie. Um, thank you all for making this a memorable day for us, and um, for your for your warm wishes and warm hearts and warm smiles. <laughs>